Hey, good morning, fellow wet shavers. It's J.R. here. It's Monday. It's a menthol Monday. So uh, we're going to be doing a special shave today. Just say a little bit about my face. Uh, my wound here is healing up very nicely. I'm even getting a little hair coming back. But uh, starting on the 11th, today's the 15th, 16th. So I've had five days where I put this uh, chemo cream on my face, my forehead, my temples, and my cheek areas. And yesterday, day before yesterday, it started to really burn. So right now I'm at the burning stage. Supposed to do this for about 30 days. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, I hope fine. Well, today I'm going to be making leather with uh, my JRA424, my little quilted brush. I'm going to be uh, lathering with the uh, Eskimo Tuxedo from Sterling. I'm going to be taking whiskers off today with my open comb Damascene razor. A little story behind this. This is sort of a little Franken razor uh, because I got the base plate and I, in a batch of a bunch of razor parts and uh, I saw it on eBay and I saw the masking base plate and that's why I bought it. So uh, all I had was the base plate but I had another uh, damascing razor which I just removed the place plate from put this one on now I have a working open comb damascing cool okay we've got a persona uh, gym persona PTFE stainless steel blade in here to take off the whiskers I'm still debating on uh, finishing I used to finish off with size rub I might just uh, change my mind and do some uh, witch hazel unfreeze because my face is pretty tender right now well let's start with some water in the sink uh, let's get a little water in the sink we'll get a little coffee in the stomach oh it's good all right 25 degrees out today cold water shave let the brush wet the face Yeah, I can see the redness all up and down here and here. And I can feel it. <laughs> Woo! Skin cancer ain't fun. All righty. Gonna load the brush with some sterling. And then we're going to build the lather on the face. I can feel the menthol. Okay, let's get those whiskers off. All right, we'll uh, start with first pass with the grain. I am a sucker for open comb razors. You don't see many of the Damascus open combs around, so I'm glad to have it. Stingy, stingy, stingy. Mm. 
My wife said, you ought to just quit shaving this month. I said, no. I might even do that. But right now, I'm, as long as I can get the whiskers down below, I'll be okay. Okay, there goes pass one. Let's uh, re-leather. Yeah, I think I may be going with the Humphreys today instead of the... Against the grain. Man, this stuff's very cold. Very cold. All right. Now, let's see. For my little touch-up areas, a little bit there, a little bit there. All righty. Okay, I think it's going to do it. All right, let's rinse off with the cold water. Oh, this is going to be cold. Pet dry. Okay, now. Okay, just starting to get some warm water up here. Clean my brush. Yeah, 25 degrees out. We've had some cold weather here. Right for those guys out in California with all that flooding. That's got that's terrible. Pray for the guys. And, uh, Ukraine too. We've got senseless war. All right. There we go. So I've got the razor cleaned. Ready to go for tomorrow. Got the blade. Washed and clean, ready to go for tomorrow. Put it back in. And, uh, there. All right. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to go with the Humphreys instead of the Osage rub today. It'll be a little more pleasant to the skin. All right. A little more healing, maybe, huh? There, a soothing. Alrighty. There you have it, fellas. Uh, fellow wet shavers, got a, another cold water shave in the can. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm clean, smooth, and refreshed. 
and uh, ready to get going for the day. Beam me up, Scotty. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.